killers in here. I'll settle for a serial killer with a C E R E A L. Has anybody eaten a bowl of Captain Crunch lately? Oh, okay, you have to press maybe up and down. R1. L1. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, just like that. Now left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. I almost did it. Let's try one more time. It's hard to do while holding both of the triggers. Because you have to press up, down, up, down, up, down without having the stick veer over to the left. You can do it slowly. It's okay if you do it slowly. What's your touch, girl? She has a lot of experience picking locks, apparently. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that will tell me where Sean Myers is. Well, it says Scott Shelby, private investigations, right on the door. Police department, new media release. Those are, it's paperwork from his old cop days, probably. She's not going to look in his filing cabinet. She probably doesn't know how to open it. She doesn't think the asthma inhaler is a clue. Or the bottle of whiskey. She doesn't take his gun. She's probably going to regret that by the time this state, this That's story is over. Where the comes from? Evidence going up in smoke. How does she know that um he was just destroying evidence? I mean, if I saw the burned remains of something, I wouldn't automatically assume it was evidence. A cop's uniform. Always dressed a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. So he wore his old cop uniform every time he actually abducted one of the boys. I never noticed she has like a Japanese geisha, geisha face on her jacket. Drown. This is a secret control room, room, I guess. Rain. Slowly drowning him. There's not much time. Shit, he needs a password. Where is she seeing? Oh, that wasn't the laptop she was looking at. It was the uh it was the closed circuit TV right here. That shows Sean Mars drowning and oh my god, his head just went under. Good god. I think he's dead already. This is where he I think he just died just now. What type of light do you need to grow orchids? Let's look for some more clues. Here's the typewriter he used to, to type the letters. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. And here's a shelf full of, full of origami figures. He made a rat. 
Was there a rat in the box? I don't remember seeing a rat. Maybe the left figure was a rat. All right, now what's the password? Origami, Rain, John, maybe John. No. Shepherd. Max. That's what he called his dogs. Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. Hurry. There's no time to lose. No space between Roosevelt and Road. If you go to Theodore Roosevelt Road with a space, then you won't find it. So you better choose the right one. No confusion. See, you should have taken the gun out of his drawer. It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son. Shut up! She has it figured out. She was cultivated on the smart tree. To save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. She doesn't follow the laws of common sense all the time. I mean, if you're ransacking someone's apartment and they're not home and you find a gun, you better like put it in your pocket because if they come home and they need to grab a gun in order to like detain you with, they know exactly where they keep their own gun, right? So don't you want to like disarm someone before you like start ransacking his home? It's common sense to me. Maybe I have um, a criminal mind or something. I don't know. My mom always, always used to tell me I had a criminal mind. The motion controls really don't work well enough. Oh no, there's smoke. There's too much evidence in the apartment for the barrel. You can, I guess Scott is burning the whole apartment down. You could have just shot her to make sure she didn't escape. Oh no, she's passing out from smoke inhalation. This isn't good. Is she gonna die because I can't get the motion controls to work properly? Now I'm making some headway. she doesn't have to worry about Scott anymore. He's very prudently left the building. All she has to do is get through these flames and make it like out a window or something. Yeah. I have to move through the flames. What's she trying to do? Sit down in the chair? You can't stop there, you have to run. Oh, jam, 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 jam. We don't just jump. I don't want you to burn. I'll take my chances. There was only like three stories.
Is there a better way to get out? I hope Madison isn't dead. I really, after failing so many time trials in this game, I was really more worried about running out of time than about Madison dying from that fall. Especially like in video games, characters have a tendency to survive falls from really unnaturally high heights. She's either dead or she's seriously injured, but um, I guess she's not in any shape to be saving Sean, so it's all on Jaden now. The rainfall has reached critical levels. There's not much time left if I want to find the kid alive. The old docks, the perfect place for a killer. <laughs> Better be careful. The killer might be near. That's it, that's where Sean is. We found Sean. It's that grate right there. He went to the warehouse that was owned by uh, the origami killer. I can't move. I guess I have to walk around this way. I can barely, barely walk in this scene. Let's hope I'm not mistaken. There'll be no one to save Sean Mars if I come to the wrong place. Alright. He looked like he was going to stumble and fall in. Now the question is, is Sean alive? Shit. He's not breathing. He's not breathing. A little CPR. No, he's going to like thump his chest. Get his heart primed. Now he's going to do CPR. There's the video camera that uh, Scott was watching from his control room. see his father save him.
Scott should ask Ayn Rand what is real love if it isn't sacrifice. She could probably provide him with a very eloquent answer. Flip me off. There's flipping someone off and then there's flipping them off. And one of them is mildly aggravating and the other one is deadly. He throws like an angry wife, like throwing a man's possessions at him after she caught him cheating. Oh my god, I didn't punch him. I had the chance to punch him and I didn't do it. And maybe there was a headbutt. There was probably a headbutt that I missed. Shake him off. Shake him off. There we go. Right in the skull. Bam. Bam. Oh, fuck. Missed. Right in the leg. Oh my god. The hammer. Don't let him get the hammer. He got the hammer. Get the block. Shit. Did he hammer my skull? I didn't even see what happened. It looked like he missed Norman and he hit like the TV or the piece of scrap behind Norman. Is Norman's like skull just bashed in? Ah. Good grief. I hope Sean isn't hanging around waiting for his father to come save him because uh, there's nobody there for him. He's just walking around like a lost little kitten. Madison is like in the hospital probably healing from like several broken bones and uh, Officer Jaden is worm food. <laughs>